Get the mantra Aham Prema MP3 at jasongalant.ca So today what I wanted to talk to you about is about taking pain seriously. And so much suffering is caused in your life because you take pain seriously. Okay, so, so the first thing you need to know about life and existence is that it is all about relationship. And when you reject one piece of life, such as pain, and you say, I don't want that, what happens is you're denying yourself the possibility of relationship with that pain and then understanding its true nature. Okay, so as a spiritual explorer, as a Indiana Jones of this spirituality place, you know, you are asking yourself to explore the mysteries of the universe and to make relationship with those mysteries. That's really what you're asking. You know, that's why mantras and meditation and, uh, you know, videos on spiritual cleansing, that's really what this is about, is that basically spiritual techniques bring you to these realms within you. And these realms are already existing within you, but you are unaware of them. And these spiritual practices actually make you aware of these realms, so that way you can develop relationship. Not say, I hate that, I'm just going to reject it, right? Okay, so the thing you have to know about pain is that when you take it seriously and you say, oh my God, this pain means this, 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 it means all this bad stuff about me, all this bad stuff about the world, all this bad stuff, what you're doing is creating an argument of separation. You're saying, I'm going to convince myself to stay separate from some aspect of the universe, and therefore, you get stuck in suffering forever. It just perpetuates it, okay? So if you wish to really be a spiritual explorer, if you wish to really be on the enlightenment path, Okay, not on the fixing path, because that's the mind, and that's sometimes in the healing circles, you know, that's where everybody starts, they, they want to fix and meddle everything, right? They want to meddle with everything, they think, hey, do some energy to give me some new rims on my car, or give me some energy to give me five bucks or something, you know? That's really the meddling path, but when you're really on the spiritual enlightenment path, you're saying, I want to experience the unconditional bliss that is right here. And the unconditional bliss is here, but if you want to experience it, you must accept all that is given to you. And at first, the universe will seem like pain. Just like when a baby first comes out of the womb, the world is a painful experience. It is also the same thing for you when you expand as a spiritual baby into something beyond what you're used to. You will experience it as pain, but at some point it becomes your playground. So pain turns to play. Pain will turn to bliss, it will turn to joy, but you must have the courage to face pain and to be with it. Now the other aspect of this relationship that is very positive is that at some point you will become aware of how you are contributing pain that is unnecessary to a situation based on judgment that isn't true. And you will also be aware of the pain that is inherent in a situation that is a part of your own expansion. So there's a confusion that goes on with many spiritual aspirants where they create pain based on false thinking and then they mix it up with the pain that is inherent in an environment, you know, such as, you know, you're walking up a hill and your legs are burning and you're like, oh my God, that's painful, you know, that's, and then you're creating a bunch of emotional drama around it and you're saying, oh, that's also painful and then you lump both pain in the same category and say they're both bad. One pain is telling you the truth of what's happening in your environment and it's communicating with you lovingly to show you the stimulus of what's happening in you, in your body, in an environment. And the other pain is just something that you're creating. Okay, so you, you at some point be aware of how you are creating pain and you don't need to do that. That's really what the Enlightenment Path's about, is about not creating false pain, so that way you can truly have a relationship with the real pain of the moment that turns to bliss. So relationship, and anything that gets in the way of that is, is the path of the mind. Anything that gets in the way of relationship is the path of the mind. Anything that is in the path of relationship, that's the path of the heart, and that's the enlightenment path. Okay? So ultimately, as you are perceiving this moment, you'll be very aware of pain and pleasure and your ability to accept or reject. 
and you just accept, you accept the pleasure, you accept the pain and allow the heart to recycle it and turn it into the bliss that it is. But if you are coming up with thoughts and ideas that's creating emotional drama around a situation, that's totally unnecessary. It's a waste of your energy and it will drain you. So the first step is to not reject pain. Then when you're not rejecting pain, you can have a relationship with it and then you will be able to discern at some point the pain that you are contributing to the situation and the pain that is inherent in the situation. And then the next step is you let go of your contribution of pain to the situation and now you learn to truly surf the pain in this moment and the situation and the pain that's inherent in reality and that is inherent in your own spiritual expansion process. It's a transforming of this pain into bliss that is your path, that is your spiritual transformation, that is your spiritual evolution. And it's a beautiful journey. So there's no reason to ever be afraid of pain. So I hope this helps. Take care for now.